What a delicious meal we have going in our Roadshow kitchen this morning. A pan-seared filet mignon with avocado, basil, pesto on charred radicchio and an endive salad. Man, oh man, that sounds good. Thanks to Chef Joey for coming back in from Top of the Bay. Thank What's you for that? having me back. It's always good to be here. Yeah, especially this time of year. You guys must be hopping. It is very, very busy. This is our time. Uh, we try to take it as much as we can in the blink mm -hmm. of an eye. The summer's over. You have a beautiful spot up there. Um, dining on a couple levels. Dining outside. Either upstairs with all those great windows. Beautiful, beautiful location. Uh, the dining room is all windows overlooking the bay. The upstairs mm -hmm. is open now. The deck. Uh, now you can get a nice sea breeze through there and enjoy anything from that. drinks to, to the food. And yeah. it's, it's a really, really nice atmosphere this time of year. Maybe enjoy a meal like this. Yes. Take us through the ingredients. I love you. Anytime you come in, you were saying this. Very minimalistic, which I think is nice because folks at home think I can do that. I'm a true believer of letting the ingredients speak for themselves and not mess with them. So I, like that. I stay small and I stay as fresh as possible, mm -hmm. as usual. And, uh, but the using... steak's not small today. No, no. Today, <laughs> you know, everybody loves a large steak for some reason, but we'll accommodate everybody. So yeah. we're going with fresh endive and radicchio. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great for grilling and sauteing for warm um, lettuce salads for the summer. Okay. Um, always, I, I'm a big fan of heirloom tomatoes, so we try to stay mm. with that. It gives a lot of color and vibrance to the dish. They look great, too. They do, yeah. they do. And simple ingredients, basil, garlic, salt and pepper, olive oil, and uh, as I always say, I like to cheat with a little wine. Mm -hmm. It gives it a little acidity and uh, lemon juice. It's, it's really a really simple, simple dish, it looks but the delicious. flavors, uh, they melt together perfectly. Like you said, they're going to speak for themselves. Yep. Just how large of a steak is this? That's a 10 ounce uh, okay. filet right now, and uh, it, it, it's a very, very, very good quality piece of meat there. It looks it. Well, we'll talk more about the dish. We'll get things started, too, in just a bit. And we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Joey Medeiros is here. Top of the Bay is the place. And if you're looking for a great place, maybe to have lunch, maybe to have dinner today on a beautiful day like it's going to be, this would be it for you. You can go down there and get some, some great seafood, maybe a filet like you're going to make right now. Uh, what do you want to do right now? I'm going to start charring the, the endive and the radicchio for the salad, get it out of the way. Yep. Um, you get a grill or a skillet on the stove if you don't, can't get outside and get it going nice and hot with some butter. And you kind of want to just get it on there. Crank this guy up because okay. I, I know the smoke. Yeah, you know, I'm going to just I'm gonna yeah. flip this on just in case it does start to. You want to get it on. You just want to get a char on it. You don't want to blacken it. You just want to get, you know, a little color on the ends. And a lot of times when you do that, it also brings out a lot of other flavors. A lot of too, sugars to, that to whatever, are in there, whatever you make it. Yeah, it's yeah. all natural. And you, you just want to get it going. And you get it off, you pull it to the side, because then later on the show, I'll show, we'll start the garlic and we'll get it going in there. It's a nice, warm, wilted salad, but right. you want to get it cranked up on the grill. And uh, like I said, it's it's a nice fresh. It brings out, like you said, brings out all the natural flavors sure. and stuff that you wouldn't normally get from just tossing it from in a regular From throwing, throwing it in a bowl of stuff. Uh, then we're going to make <clears throat> this this fillet, which yes. it looks fantastic. That's a 10-ounce fillet. It's a perfect cut. It's a, it, it's a great, great piece of meat, like I said earlier, to, to grill, to pan sear. You can roast it. You can't really go wrong with it. It's a really, really good product. Um, July third, you said you were packed. It was, uh, it was a madhouse. <laughs> you know, it's great for business. Yeah. Um, it's great at the end of the night. All the feedback uh, was very, very positive. Um, things are really, really picking up, and like it's the summer. It's our time. We got to take advantage of it. I know I've got family members who are big, who are big fans of the restaurant. They may actually be down there today. At, today yeah. at some. Well, well, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be there. Down there today at uh, at some point. So how long is this going to sit? Just, you're just going to get a couple the of minutes. Once it's, right. it's grilled, once it's going, it's a lot quicker it's on and off real fast obviously with the with the situation we have you know it takes a little bit but sure. you just want it on off two to three minutes tops let it set aside on paper towel to drain some of that okay. butter off of it all right butter out a little extra flavor as well yeah. we'll put this together we're going to put this uh this fillet on is, um in just a few minutes too and it looks great we'll talk about the restaurant and everything they have going because yeah it's a busy place down there back to you and we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Joey Medeiros is here, top of the bay. We have a pan-seared filet, avocado mm. basil pesto, charred radicchio, and endive salad. And it looks, that looks beautiful. Yeah, I started the garlic off in some olive oil. Mm -hmm. um, as we saw earlier, we uh, charred a little bit of the endive and the radicchio. We added some sliced heirloom cherry tomatoes, salt and pepper, a little wine, and that's it, let it be. Mm -hmm. uh, we got this going. Skillet with a little bit of butter on it to get some sear. Hopefully okay. we're hot enough this time. We take this monster and we get him on there. Oh, we get the sound of sizzle. Yeah, that sizzle. You're good. A uh, piece of meat this size to get to medium rare, which is probably the perfect cook for this. You want to go four to six minutes on each side. And if you're not sure, you keep the oven going and stick it in there for another five minutes at like 350. That really way you won't smart. go any further. You'll get it. It'll stay as tender as it needs to be. It looks great. I do like a good medium rare. For yeah. A steak. Yeah. You know. 
people tend to butcher meat and you know. They do. They, they yeah. Yeah, you don't want to dry it out. Yo, no, it, it's made it's made to be eaten at its best, mm -hmm. which is medium rare, medium tops. But Beautiful. you know, everybody right. has and their own preference. Cooking it something like this, obviously, a lot of people will take a steak and they'll put it on the grill. But on a cast iron pan like this, it locks in every yeah. single mm -hmm. flavor you can imagine. We talked earlier about natural sugars and uh, meats and vegetables. You get the most out of it when you're char charring it or you're searing it and you're and you're locking in and you're making that that. Um, foundation on the outside where nothing the tendons yeah. to stay in the juices stay to stay inside. inside right and it tastes good it does that little it does. It does taste good. Yeah. That's my, the texture is like the difference in texture is perfect yeah. you know yeah. it, it goes well definitely i love the fact too that you're choosing to do a warm salad to pair with this a lot of times people think well it's fresh it's you know it's light i want a nice cold salad this is delicious but the vegetables will still hold up yeah. they're not going to wilt away i try to go with like you said, very sustainable produce, something that will hold up to the heat. Mm -hmm. um, it won't wilt on me when it yeah. goes by the time it gets to the table. Mm -hmm. And uh, going into the summer, it, my uh, goal was to do something different every week, not bring the same salads back that everybody's doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the warm salad's kind of taken off. And, uh, like, yeah. you know, and it's and, working. Yes, it does. It's, it's working because right you're, cause you're a, it's, it's very busy. Now, obviously, you are known for seafood, but today... You were kind enough to bring. Yeah, it. every time I come in, Paul Will doesn't get to eat anything because he's not a big fish guy. I'm so. not a big seafood guy. But hey, you bring up a good point that you're much more than seafood. We are very diverse. Um, we're not a one-trick pony. We're trying to bring on an, another set of clientele sure. this summer. Uh -huh. uh, the specials have really taken off this summer. We're doing really, really well, and the feedback from the community and the customers have been been very rewarding. And, and also your location, it's a beautiful location. You can have something delicious to eat, yeah. but then you, it's all and glass nice windows, yeah. and you can look out and see, see the is, ocean. It, and it is nice. When I get to pop my head out of the kitchen and see everybody <laughs> in the dining room, and you know, it's the view from yeah. where I'm standing down the ramp and looking and seeing all of the, the customer so sofas on the window. Right. And it's Pretty easy cool. and easy out, too, so and people don't have to worry about that. And you got some great summery drinks, yes, too, that you brought do. along. Yes, we do. We have uh, blueberry, uh, watermelon, sangria mm -hmm. there in the front. A lemon drop martini up in the back there, and a citrus mule uh, on the other side. Yum. That looks good. All right, All well, let's, look at let's plate this up, Jeff. Yeah. I know that piece right that there still needs a little bit more time, but you did finish one yes, off because, like did. you said, for the sake of yeah. time, it yeah. needs yeah. a This one was shot a little earlier. That's exactly where it needs to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, that for you. Plate a little bit of the salad on there. In the summertime, it's all about aesthetics, I think. Sure. You know, the more color, the more vibrant it is. Mm -hmm. People eat with their eyes. I know that's an age-old adage, but it's the truth. And it's also a nice place to stop, whether you're you're, you're on the way to the beach, maybe you're going to grab some lunch on the way home from the beach. Yes. You, you've been out all day long. You don't yeah. feel like cooking. You can go and yeah. go to the top and of the bay. Who and wants to, in 95-degree weather with 100% yeah. humidity, go yeah. home and turn yeah. on a stove? Yeah. We're, we're, we're letting Joey do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to. This is uh, avocado pasta basil. I've kind of come Yum. with some spinach in it, you know, that I've come across um, this past year. So it's light. Avocado's yeah. in. Wow, what a beautiful plate. That looks delicious. A little garnish. Last few touches and we'll there. Call it a day. That, that looks, looks like fantastic. lunch or dinner to me. That beautiful. Looks delicious. And Will is very happy. I'm very happy. If Thanks, you George. want this recipe so you can make it for your family, you know where to go, roadshow.com.